Welcome back to Tech Solution Z, your go-to channel for practical Linux and Windows tutorials that make complex setups simple and easy to follow. In today's video, we'll be installing Docker on Zorin OS 18, a powerful and beginner-friendly Linux distribution based on Ubuntu. Before we begin, let's talk a bit about Docker. Docker is an incredible platform that allows you to run applications inside lightweight, portable containers. Whether you're a developer, system administrator, or just a curious tech enthusiast, Docker helps you create consistent environments that run anywhere from your laptop to the cloud. It's one of the most in-demand tools in the tech world today, and once you get comfortable with it, you'll see why. All right, let's get started with the installation. First, open the Terminal app on your Zorin system. We'll begin by updating our Linux package index to ensure all repositories are up to date. After that, we'll install the essential tools like curl and CA certificates, which will allow us to securely add Docker's official repository to our system. Once that's done, follow the on-screen instructions carefully to add Docker official repository. This step ensures that your system installs Docker directly from the source, giving you the latest and most stable version. During this process, let me share another great thing about Docker. It helps you eliminate compatibility issues between different systems. With Docker, your applications will behave the same way no matter where you run them. After adding the repository, we'll update our package index once again to recognize the new source. Then we'll install Docker along with all its necessary components. This process may take a few minutes, so please be patient while the installation completes. Once the installation is finished, you can verify it by checking the Docker version to ensure everything is set up correctly. And that's it! Docker is now successfully installed on your Zorin OS 18 system. You're ready to start building, running, and managing containers effortlessly. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Tech Solution Z, and check the description below for all the commands used in this guide. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.